We give glory to the Almighty God for the privilege of witnessing uh, another new year in the land of the living. We celebrate God for His past faithfulness. We bless Him for the opportunity to experience a new year uh, full of new opportunities, new blessings, new manifestations of God's glory. It's such a wonderful privilege. You know, the Word of God says uh, a living dog is better than a dead lion. So, and that's a very important, uh, that's a very important uh, verse in the scripture. It's very, very important because no matter what you are facing, no matter what you experienced the previous year, uh, no matter what didn't work or probably uh, some expectations were not met, the good thing is there's an opportunity to start afresh. New year means a new opportunity. So I want to congratulate you. Uh, for, I mean, for the privilege. I want to congratulate you that you are part of those the Lord has granted the privilege and the opportunity to experience a wonderful new year in the land of the living. And uh, my prayer is that the Lord Almighty will surprise you. He will grant you pleasant surprises. Every testimony you have not been able to share till now, the Lord will make sure that this very year you share it. Your expectation will not be cut short and the glory of the Lord will manifest in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want to appreciate you sincerely for your time. I want to bless God for your lives. You know, you know the time you take to listen to this uh, podcast, the various episodes, there were about 52, 53 episodes uh, throughout last year. I want to appreciate you for taking your time to listen to this uh, uh, word of God. I want to appreciate you for your prayers. Thanks so much for your support. Uh, thank you for your encouragement uh, in the year that just ended. You know, different uh, all manners of feedback, communicating your testimonies. And some of us even shared uh, the episode with other people in, uh, in our lives, in our sphere of influence. We want to appreciate you so much for doing that. The Lord bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. And uh, I want to ask that this uh, new year, I want to ask that you devote yourself more to God. Is very important. If there is anything at all to learn from entering a new year, is that the Lord desires a closer walk with Him. You know, being alive means God is not done with you yet. If He's done with you, you won't be in this year. You would have, you know, you'd have passed it last year. So that's why I want to encourage you: devote yourself more to God. You know, there are uh, many things that distract us, but there's only one thing that matters, and it's our relationship with God. That's the that's what controls every other aspect of our life. So. Uh, just a kind of an admonition as we are beginning the year. Please devote yourself more to God. Devote yourself to His Word. Don't just read His Word. Don't just listen. Do what the Word of God says. In this very new year, make sure you, you, know, you make the Word of God to be the governor over your life. Live a Word-governed life. And uh, that, will, that will guarantee some levels of encounter, some levels of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. So yeah, every new year, you want to begin to draw closer to God, like I mentioned. So please let that be your goal. Uh, they, they say they normally uh, they normally write this uh, New Year resolutions. If you are someone who writes New Year's resolution, please let number one be, I will walk closer with God. That is That should be the, uh, the priority this New Year. And uh, the grace to do that, the Lord will release it upon you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, you know, as we keep experiencing new years, you know, new year coming in, uh, it means we are drawing closer to the end of all things. You know, if 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 you understand what I'm saying, the the end of all things is closer this year than it was last year. That's actually the implication. So every new year draws you closer to the end of all things. It draws us closer to the end of the age, and um, of course, you can be sure distractions will also increase distractions you know we increase technology environmental society all manners of distraction they will keep increasing but my prayer is that as the lord lives the lord will keep all these distractions away from you your decision to walk closely with the lord the lord will honor it he will stretch out his hand and he will help you where you need help in the mighty name of jesus so thank you so much once again for taking the time to uh, be with us again for this new year and um is i'm very excited to announce the theme of this particular year i'm very very excited because it is uh, is something very beautiful it's something we have not treated before and the lord has graciously granted us the privilege to 
uh, to learn under this particular theme. So the new, uh, the, this New Year's podcast theme, the theme we're going to be looking at, that all the episodes of this uh, New Year we center around is cloud of witnesses. Cloud of witnesses. That's going to be the theme for this particular uh, year. We'll be learning faith lessons from those who once lived the life we are now called to live, the faith life. We're going to be learning from those who are who came before us, who lived this life of faith. The Bible calls them cloud of witnesses. Uh, let me read. Let me read the scripture to you. Uh, let me read Hebrews chapter twelve. Hebrews chapter twelve. I will just read two verses, one and two, and I will read from the Amplified um, version of the Bible. Uh, Hebrews 12, 1 to 2 from Amplified Bible says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, who by faith have testified to the truth of God's absolute faithfulness, stripping off every unnecessary weight and sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us, let us run with endurance and active persistence the race that is set before us, looking away from all that will distract us, and focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of faith, the first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity, who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross, disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority and the completion of his work. Hallelujah. I don't know you, you, if you agree with me. That's a very loaded scripture, Hebrews twelve one to two. You can read it from other translations that you're familiar with, uh, because Amplified. The purpose of Amplified is actually to make it louder. That's exactly what uh, this version has done. So the, the Bible talks about we being surrounded. We we now we that we are living as Christians. We that we are running the race, uh, the race of God's kingdom, race to heaven. We are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Just imagine uh, if you have watched any Olympic or probably any game, any sports at all, uh, probably soccer. You see, you see people on the grandstand. There are people watching. That's the way this cloud of witnesses are watching us. They are looking at how we are running our races. They are all around. They are looking at. They run the race. They run the race themselves. Now they are in glory and they are watching. How are we running our races? They are looking at how we are responding to temptations. How are we? How are we? How are we overcoming in the areas that they overcame, or are we being defeated where they overcame? All manners of things going on in their mind. But the Bible makes us to understand that we are really surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Okay. And the the same scripture encourages us to strip off anything that will hinder us from running this race. You don't want to you, you don't want to run a marathon race by you know, let's say by eight a.m. and by seven a.m. you are still loading up burger, you are loading up fries, you are loading up all manners of fast food, and you're going to run marathon in less than one hour. That that doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. You can ask anybody who runs. Ask all the athletes. They will tell you there's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of shedding, a lot of putting away so that we can run this race successfully. It's a marathon. The Bible talks about endurance. So we have to run this race with endurance. That's why we are looking at this particular glorious theme for this uh, new year, Cloud of Witnesses. And like I mentioned, we are going to be learning faith and life lessons from those who once lived the life we are now called to live. Okay, so this eye is gonna this eye is gonna be uh, this is just into introductory actually, uh, just to prepare you for what is coming this new year. Uh, for the first quarter, for the first quarter of this year, that's from January to March, our focus will be on the great hymn writers of old. For the first quarter of this year, that's from January to March, we're gonna be considering. Um, the great hymn writers of old, those who wrote hymns, you know, the popular hymns that we now sing. Uh, we're going to be learning, you know, learning from them. We're going to be learning from the uh, the authors of these great uh, hymns. And then for the remaining part of the year, we'll be learning from the characters mentioned in Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11 is the only chapter in the Bible dedicated to faith practitioners of old. You know, some people call it the... Um, the hall of fame for for faith practitioners so we're going to be looking at all the characters mentioned there are about 42 of them 
We're going to consider those characters in Hebrews 11, learning some faith and life lessons from their very lives. And by the time, uh, by the time we are through with all these uh, great in writers of old and the characters in Hebrews 11, is my belief and it's my expectation, and uh, it's really, really my firm belief that the Lord would have impacted your faith life. And the Lord would have given you all the necessary boost you need to also run your race and finish it gloriously. And that will be your experience in the mighty name of Jesus. So it's very, 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 very important. I want to, uh, I want to implore us, let us pray along. I want to ask that you pray that the Lord will use this cloud of witnesses team for this year to rekindle the fire on your spiritual altar in any way you are already experiencing spiritual coldness you you have lost your fire or you know this is not the way you are supposed to be you should have passed this level you want to pray that the lord will use this uh, all the episodes under this cloud of witnesses team to rekindle the fire on your altar and i also want to encourage you please pray that the lord will use each episode to speak to your faith life very important Ask that the Lord will use each episode you'll be uh, listening to to speak to your faith life and ask that His power will bring about the fulfillment of His glorious purpose for your life in the name of Jesus. Ask that the Lord will cause this uh, through this team. It will, you know, rekindle your fire. It will speak to your faith life and you it will cause His power. It will cause His power to bring about the fulfillment of His glorious purpose for your life. And uh, that will be your experience in the mighty name of Jesus. So please, uh, I want to encourage you, let's get rid of anything that would distract us whatsoever that will not allow you to listen to these episodes in this particular year. Please, those things are not your friend. Anything that will not allow you to listen is an enemy already. Know it in advance. So plan, the episodes are released every Monday. Uh, that's the way we've been doing it. So every Monday, there's going to be a fresh episode under this cloud of witnesses. Come prepared, prepare your art, click on the link, you know, listen with open heart, pray the prayers and apply the lessons. And the Lord will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Uh, as I wrap up this introductory uh, episode, I want to encourage you, please get rid of any sin. Sin is S-I-N. Any sin that is still in your life that you are aware of. Any form of sin you are still indulging in, please get rid of it. Get rid of it. Sin is a killer. Sin will never leave you the way it meets you. Sin kills and it sinks. So please get rid of any sin that easily besets you from that Hebrews 12. The Bible said there are some sins that easily beset us. We just fall easily. You know, locate them and get rid of them and fully surrender your life to Jesus. If you know you have not really surrendered your life to Jesus this new year, that's something you should do. And if you have surrendered your life, you have gone back, you know, you have bustled in, you are doing your thing again, please come back. The hands of Jesus are still open. That's my encouragement. Be assured of your salvation. Don't gamble with your life. This is, etern this is eternity we're talking about. So please uh, surrender your life to Jesus Christ fully. And uh, I also want to encourage you, be prayerful. Prayerful this year. You know, it's very, very important. Things are happening. And you will really need to be prayerful so that you can secure all the divine help you need. Uh, and I pray as you do that, the Lord will bless you mightily and will grant you all the grace you need in the mighty name of Jesus. So like I mentioned, prayerfully listen to these episodes as they will be coming every Monday. Don't miss anyone because you never can tell when the Lord will be deciding to visit you. You don't want to miss your time of visitation. And I want you, I want you to do something for me. Uh, this is my personal request now. I know some of us did it uh, last year, you know, in the previous uh, episodes. Uh, you know, you share you share some of these episodes with people. I know some people communicate me that they shared with their colleagues, they shared with their friends, they shared it on their social media. Thank you so much. That's very appreciated. But this year, I want you to do more, please. I want you to do more. The Bible says, the Lord gave the word and great is the company of they that publish it. The Lord gave the word and great is the company of they that publish it. So when the Lord gives the word through these episodes, you want to become part of the great company of the publishers. So as you get blessed, please share with others in your family, share with your friends, share with your colleagues so that they too can be blessed. 
that's the only request i'm asking you that's the only thing i'm asking you to do regarding this episode don't just listen and say you are blessed please share with others so that uh, others too can be blessed so that the people the head can really be filled with the knowledge of the glory of god as waters cover the sea i pray that as you do this the lord will bless you mightily in the name of jesus uh once again this new year i pray the blessings of the lord over you whatsoever you lay your hands upon we prosper the Lord will increase you on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will make this year easy for you. Everything you have struggled to achieve before now, the Lord will make it easy for you. The Lord will grant you speed in the mighty name of Jesus. All your rewards that are overdue, you will not miss out on them this year in the name of Jesus. All the air parts of your destiny will locate you and your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus. And because you have entered this year, I pray the grace to live out this year till the very end in good health, in prosperity, and happiness. May the Lord release it upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And if the Lord chooses to return before we meet again, I pray he will not leave you behind. Spend eternity with God and glory in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So please, like I mentioned, look forward. Every Monday, there will be fresh episodes. Uh, look for it. Look forward to it. And the Lord will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. <music>